Hello. Hey. hey. Hi. Oh, you're like uh, picking up right away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go live. Okay. You see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was just reading some of the stuff that they have on here while I was waiting for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. But anyways, okay, so yeah, so last time we were um Right, so last time we discovered the minstrel medium model. Right, mm -hmm. this was this was actually like really good at the uh, entity resolution, right? At yeah. like doing the logic, mm -hmm. so we thought that was really good. Um, mm -hmm. The prompts that we were playing with, right? So we were doing this one, I believe, it was the last one we did. We did. We look at the sample data, compared the ground truth, and like this is where we did like the three way comparison. Right. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so for for today, um, I'm not sure if we still want to do the three way comparison or not. Uh, we can think about that. Mm -hmm. um, we so we so we we played around with its reasoning capabilities. We felt that that was I, I felt like it was pretty good at the reasoning. Mm -hmm. um, right. We we could continue to try like push the boundaries of like how much how much reasoning it can do. Or we can revisit mm -hmm. some of the older, to, uh, some of the other things that we had. So that would be uh, mock data, right? Generating yeah. mock data. Um, and uh, what was the other one that was, uh, was uh, and cleaning, and cleaning bad mm -hmm. data. Right. Right. Because now that we have this other model, uh, we, we don't know how, how much better it is. We just know that it's been better at the, uh, at, at like the logic piece. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so, I'm kind of wondering. Oh, oh, and I guess the other thing that we, we, uh, we the other the other topic that we did before was um, classification. Right. If we want to do like mm -hmm. a name classification, because recently we've been thinking about um, classification in terms of like not just business and person, but also like business person and um, fake name or. Uh, what would be the better word for it, right? Or or suspicious mm -hmm. in some way. Yeah. Right. So actually, yeah. let me write this down. So right. So we had a couple couple of things we could do. Right. So it was we could do data cleaning. Uh, we could do uh, uh, mock data, mock data uh, generation, um, and then we could also do um, we can also do uh, classification. Which is kind of, I mean, the classification is actually kind of similar to data cleaning, uh, mm -hmm. in a way, but mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah. W w which of these topics is kind of interest most interesting to you? Um, um I guess. Uh, let me think. Uh, we can do. So classification uh would be an entity classification right is it uh, um suspicious yeah so that like, one is it realistic yeah yeah so that one was what we did we did business person or um or 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 i guess like what would we call it fake <laughs> uh what? so that... Did we do trust fp yeah Oh, okay. Business or fake. Yeah, I mean, we could do that. Yeah, it is kind of like data cleaning in a way, but uh, it's kind of related. Um, yeah. I mean, like, we could do yeah. that first to see how it goes. So we can say something like, you know, uh, you are an entity um, uh, classification expert. Oh, expert. Mm -hmm. You will uh, give it, oh, sorry. Uh, Given a name, you will determine if it is um, a business person or 
But let's say fake, uh, fake entity. Fake entity. Fake entity. Well, well I mean, it's, I don't want to say okay. fake entity because like we want things like like Daffy Duck is a real entity in a sense. Real person. <laughs> but, but, it's, but it's not a real <laughs> a person. Real duck? It's a real duck. <laughs> no, no, no. But like, but if someone puts down their name as Daffy Duck, right? It's like very suspicious. So we don't want to. So, so, so that's why I was like, I'm not sure what to call this last one. Hmm. Right. I mean, we could just say other. Right. We could we could say other, and then we can like try it for now and see what happens. Uh, hmm. Right. So like, let, let we'll try the simple uh, this simple prompt, and then see what see what we have. Right. So like. So like, and I, we can we can try Darth Vader, right, and like see see what it gives us. Oh yeah, and then the other another one is to try a free form, just to let it. What do you think it is? And then we can give it like a school, airport, or you know, like just a mix of different things. Did I spell classification Not... wrong? I spelled classification wrong. I missed the vowel. Oh, well, I'm sure it understands. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it would understand too, right? But let's we can. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's see it's a fictional character all right it's a class <laughs> <laughs> we didn't ask it for confidence but it's telling me it has it has this confidence right yeah <laughs> wait sorry uh, uh the prompt was oh, really yeah. simple we didn't it ask a... for it to give us quantification <laughs> <laughs> but it's 99% confident. Uh, Pretty sure, yeah. That it is. I mean, oh, I love it. Like, it would be a person if you're talking about the character within the Star Wars. But other is more appropriate. Wow. It is. It really likes to reason. Like. <laughs> it does, right? <laughs> the Mister models are like are like pretty like surprisingly really good at like reasoning, right? Um, yeah. All right. So 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 let's try. Let's just reclean this and. Uh, oh, oh, wait. Uh, so do we want to try uh, Daffy Duck as well? Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I guess we could we could try like a, a name, right? Let's do like James. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure there's somebody named James Williams. I don't I don't know. <laughs> but pick two common names and you'll probably probably exist. Yeah. OK, <laughs> look, now it's 100 <laughs> percent. Yeah. Oh, but don't you like this? Because it's ninety five percent. I know, but look, but it explains you why it's ninety five. Oh wow! Oh wow! This is so good. Um... Right, like this. This is pretty good. We 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 could try throwing it off a little bit, right? So like. Um, uh... Let's let me let me do this. Uh, fictional addresses because I don't actually know too many. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Uh, this one. This is this is apparently Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, you want to do the Sherlock Holmes one? Uh, even though I feel like it probably would be the same as Daffy Duck or 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 Darth Vader. Right? Actually, let's do <laughs> this one. This one seems kind of real. I yeah. I don't know okay. what. What place is is this? Is this a real? I, I feel like that that's Maple Street is such a common street that like that's got to be a real place, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it looks like they're wait Maybury and. Hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna go to maps. Okay, 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 okay. So so this this address does not exist. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's do this then. Okay, uh, let's do, let's do James Williams, oh. and then let's do, uh, let's do this, and then let's. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess we'll guess we'll just leave it at that, right? And we'll we'll, we'll maybe add a fake phone number later to to see how it handles the. Uh, 
the phone number. Oh, I, I, I need to change it. It's not just name. But I think I'll figure yeah. it out. Yeah. Unable to reach Poe. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, well, well um, while we wait for it, let's do this. All right, given... Um, Given uh, contact info, you'll determine if it's a person or not. Okay, let's see if it. Um, all right, let's retry. And the name further supports this classification. Oh, uh, yeah, because it's stuck on name, right? Uh huh. Yeah, okay, all right. So, so I think I mean, I think I do need to change this to contact info. So let's let's retry this. Ah, okay. All right, because like it doesn't have because this is a likely. Like you know, if you have no context, just like I did, you would have to look it up, right? Like we we went to Google Maps to know that this address doesn't exist, but it looks like a real mm -hmm. address. Yeah. Right? So yeah. we could try. All right, so let's try let's try this again, but now let's put in Darth Vader. <laughs> and see if it. Uh, <laughs> a real world entity she's for activation well yeah. then i mean if this is the way that it's going to keep classifying it maybe we should say business person or um fake entity maybe maybe fake entity is the uh or fictional entity mm -hmm. right maybe we do want to say uh, fictional entity. Maybe that will help it. It's yeah. So it doesn't know that this is a fictional. Uh, that this address is not real. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't have access to Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So okay, so now that I've I've allowed for a fictional entity, let's go back to Darth Vader. Uh and see if Darth Vader is, is now is now okay. Yeah. It's not associated with a character in any Star Wars material. <laughs> I mean, can it actually fact check that? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, so 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 what we don't know is that like is, is is this is this hallucination, or is it just say or is it actually able to check that? Like, I don't think it actually. I'm not confident that it's actually fact checking it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know it's actual fact checking, but I'm sure it's kind of tr maybe it is just not no associate. I don't know. There there are some associations, right? Uh, possible locations that might be related to Star Wars, but this one, you know, like but maybe so and so galaxy would be, <laughs> <laughs> you know, associated to the franchise but... well okay well then, then 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 okay let's pick like um let's pick a different uh let's do um homer uh, Simp uh hmm. right let's do homer simpson right let's see what he lives in springfield oh. uh i don't we don't know which one because like every state has a springfield uh yeah. Man, it was pretty good. Yeah. I mean. Well, then what about, what if we did, because Simpson is not like a, a fake name. Like there are people with that last name. Right. Right? So like, like what if we did James Simpson? Wait, is, 
Is is his is the grandfather named James? I forget. <laughs> oh, sorry. It, 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 no, 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 I forget so what the what? grandfather in the Simpsons what his oh, what his first no, name is. Oh, no, I don't was. remember. Okay, but I, but I guess it's not James. Like. <laughs> I remember what it looks like. He looks like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, but anyways, but um, it's not possible to determine certainty whether it's a common name. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's the grandpa's. Uh... So it basically just says it doesn't know. Oh. Yeah. What should we do? Uh, Abraham. Oh yeah, a a Abe. Abe Simpson. That's the that's the grandfather's name. Oh, oh Abe. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well. Well. At least it's not James, right? But 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 I guess so. Here, like, it's basically saying that like it's not. You know, it's 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 reasoning is that this is. Uh, that that it couldn't determine whether or not, which is, which is like interesting that it's able to do that, but not useful if we're really doing classification, right? Like when we when you were doing classification, like you really wanted to make a decision on one of the three. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe we should add that well, to the prompt. Um, uh, or make a best guess, or I I I don't know. But I guess it is saying I can't. Yeah, it's it's well, it's saying that you, that that it can't. But we're not like trying to. We're not prompting it to like force it to pick one, right? Like mm -hmm. I guess I guess I mean this. this pick uh, one, yeah, or you'll be fired. <laughs> you really want to fire this guy, don't you? <laughs> well, I mean, well, mm. I'll pick one. Uh. Uh, so let's see, we have a comment here. Uh, so I wonder if you give it uh, Jebediah Barlett, <laughs> 1600 Pennsylvania. Uh, it will the identify real? the character as fictional, given it as a fictional character with a real address. Mm, well, we did that. Uh, so, so I don't, so you weren't here for, uh, but we did, we did do the, um, let me go back. Right, so we did the Homer Simpson one, and we also did the Darth Vader one. So it was able to identify those as um, as uh, as as uh, fictional characters. Uh, consumer records always have the problem of fake data, like Mickey Mouse, for example. People would enter in fake names when they enter surveys and stuff. So LM could help us identify these obviously fake names and remove them. Uh, yeah. Right. 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 So so, but okay. But for this exercise, let's continue. Let's let's modify this prompt to really make sure that we get like one um one classification right. Uh, you have to determine if it is. Uh, no, I said no matter how uncertain. Uh, you are, you will. Uh, output the most likely. Uh, entity, right? So let's let's just let's just try that. Um, I, I, do, do you want to threaten it with with being fired? I, I know uh, you thought that was kind of well, interesting. Well, not yet. I mean, not later. yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now uh, instead of this, so so we want to try. Do we want to try Mickey Mouse? No. Uh, Mickey Mouse was too obvious, right? So the, <laughs> the suggestion here was Jebediah Barlett, right? So let's try that. Um, oh wait, I can't copy the thing, can I? That's annoying. Okay. Okay. The diet barley. I don't know. I guess it's a. And then yeah, so let's give this a try. And right, I'm gonna clear the context because Beep. this could we we. Uh, it's a person. Okay. Name and address probably do not indicate a business or a fictional entity. However, it's worth noting this conclusion is based solely on the information given. Is a TV character from the Andy Griffin show, which took place in fictional town of Mulberry. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> I don't actually know oh, if this is true or not. Grandpa. Uh, Another grandpa. Oh, wait. Springfield is not in any state, I guess, right? <laughs> the Homer Simpson. Is the president of the in the West Wing? 
Okay, so it wasn't in the Andy Griffin shot. So this is just complete nonsense, right? Like this is <laughs> so it just it just made this up. This is just complete nonsense. Hold on, let's just let's double check this. <laughs> uh, he just yeah, yeah, right? Okay, all right. Yeah. Um. So 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 yeah. So it definitely has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, hallucination problems. We could try also. Um, we could in the prompting right we, we could also make this easier for us in the uh in the prompting so we could say uh so we can say something like uh input com this and then we can say uh output um and then we wait wait do we do we want the the reasoning or do we just want the output uh i think reasoning is good to look at right now you you like that okay because yeah, I like it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what we can say is uh, provide uh, provide your uh, reasoning step by step. Uh, uh, let's see under the let's let's just call this uh, under the oh, reasoning block and provide your uh, res uh, response uh, under the uh, output block. So let's do that. So, so so now we're like explicitly telling it how to how to respond to it uh, mm -hmm. and then we might get some better formatting of Okay, so now it says reasoning, and now it has the reasoning. Okay, so uh, I've analyzed the name. It's not immediately recognizable. However, suggested residential location. I, so I, I hate this. Like, no, it did not. Like, this is bullshit. It, it didn't search. <laughs> uh, okay, but anyways. <laughs> All right, so this oh. time it found the fictional, the fictional town. As the show feature um, both realistic and free, uh, okay, I like that. Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right, and, and then it gave the output most likely entity type person. Huh. Right, and so. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is this is not bad, right? It's not bad with the mm -hmm. with what it's what it's doing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the reasons. You like the reasoning? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I feel like because when we asked it to put it in under reasoning, it like it 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 reasoned more. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No no! It reasoned more because we told it to provide your reasoning step by step. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's my default trying to reason. <laughs> <laughs> a more verbose. Yeah. Mission, yeah. Um. Okay. So we can do. Uh. Let Let me do this. So. Um. I'm gonna type in. Uh. Fictional. Let's do some fictional phone numbers as well. Um, oh wait, not fictional. Uh, fame. Let's do famous movie phone numbers. Let's see if we can find some. Um, find some. Find some famous. <laughs> all right, let's do this one. Let's just take this. <laughs> the Simpsons is is really great for. All right. Let's 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 try let's try let's try adding a, a fake phone number and seeing mm -hmm. how it handles the additional data. Oh, we have a question. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you'll have a hell of a time scaling if you can only do one data point per request. Can it do it in batch evaluate name slash address pairs? Uh, oh, oh, I see what you're saying. So instead of doing uh, this, we can add some more, right? So um, so we'll do Mickey Mouse. Uh, where does Mickey, well, let's say Mickey Mouse lives on, uh, one, uh, Main Street, USA, right? I think that's what, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then, uh, 
I don't know. I'm going to give him an 800 number because uh, I have no idea. Actually, mm -hmm. I'll just look it up. What is what is the Disney uh, Disney phone number? <laughs> okay. Disneyland. There we go. We got a Disney uh, Disney phone number. And we'll leave it in different formats. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, let's try different. Uh, so we have two. Oh, it's thinking. <laughs> we made it think. <laughs> Who entities? Oh, no. All right. <laughs> it ran into a problem. Oh, no. Is, are, is everybody else on the stream also trying this? Is this... We were we were hypothesizing if too many people try doing this, then it it uh it might actually hit the server too much. Okay, let's let's mm -hmm. see. All right, so here's the reasoning. All right, so this is fine. Is a valid phone number format? Mm. Second contact, Mickey Mouse. Is not an address. <laughs> so it knows that this is the number for Disney Resorts. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's that's interesting I, I i don't know if this is like is that right? well no no no. we know that this is the number right because i copied and pasted it from the disney like the disney. resort oh yeah. okay but like i didn't know it was but, resort, but, but uh, the fact that it knew that i don't know if it actually knew that or if it made it up and got lucky do you know what i mean like the LM can still like bullshit this and like get lucky and like be correct. Uh -huh. Right. Or it was trained on all that data. So therefore it does know that this, this phone number does like is, is for the Disney resort. It's really hard to know. Like if it actually knows this number or not. Uh, you've probably have gotten Disney animation studios <laughs> if it was a hallucination if it was a hallucination i mean no 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 no. so so um, uh, my i'm not saying that it hallucinated um uh the uh the number to disney resort i'm saying that like it might have hallucinated like um let's let's what do you say this like Like, you know, we put in Mickey Mouse, right? And so it obviously knows that Mickey Mouse is, you know, a Disney uh, character, right? So, like, so therefore, did it just, you know, connect the dots and say, okay, well, Disney, here's a phone number. You know, it's for the Disney resorts. Um, and just sort of jump to that conclusion. So it was a hallucination, like a jump to that conclusion. Or was the hallucination, like... Uh, you know, or, or did it actually have, you know, in its training data, like, you know, phone numbers associated with Disney and this was one of them. And so because it memorized it, it, it like was able mm -hmm. to, to make this association. Um, or another, another possibility is that like it did have some data, right, of Disney um, and it did have some phone numbers. Um and it, it does it didn't actually memorize whether or not this phone number was associated with Disney, but because it was given a phone number and Disney, it jumped to that conclusion correctly through a hallucination. That's what I mean. Uh, try asking it for the number for Disney resorts. Uh, let's try that. Oh, but do we need to reset it then? Right? I, I think we have to reset the, we have to reset it if we want to do that. Yeah. Well, it, I, I, I have a, a, a arrived at a page, you know, if I just like type in that phone number, it's, it is Disney uh, a help center page. On, uh, and uh, it does, have like the word resort you know a couple times even though i think this is a number to call for photo pass 
Y okay. You know, like, because, you know, the bottom links has like resort all over the place. Like... Yeah, so, seven, so it, it gave this number, right? No, it didn't. It, it gave a different number. I don't, I actually don't know if this number. Uh, yeah, if you click into that page, it has like resort, resort. And... Wait, so uh, does this actually have, oh. does this model have access to internet to search? I don't know. Because it, you're right. Like it gave, it gave a, it gave a link. So like, did it actually have? Did it make that up? Did it make it up or, or, or did it? Well, actually, we don't know if it actually has access to search. So some of these bots do have access to search. So that's why like, um, uh -huh. so you're saying at the bottom. Oh, uh, so it's at the, it's ahead of help page that I found. Contact uh, us. Uh, help center. It's, it's, a, it's like right here. Oh you, yeah, sorry. Food. You can't paste the link in in, uh, in Twitch. It's like it thinks you're trying oh. to spam people. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Uh, oh, oops. Uh, yeah. Hold on. But 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 I have I have the re the reservations and and ticket uh, here, right? So which one is it? So this was um, nine three nine five two seven seven. Yeah, it's not one of these here. Yeah, not this page. It's a separate page that has that original number, and uh, yeah, photo pass and resort. Okay, so what is this link that you sent me? Uh, this sorry, is I'm the FAQ Discord. for photo. Uh... <laughs> and then there's a couple like resort word. Oh, oh, no, or here's nine three nine five two seven seven. Okay. Okay, so so it is a real, like it it is a real number. Um, mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, so may, maybe it does know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. In Bing AI, which is built on GPT four, they would provide references and the responses. Do you think they that they append the reference links after the response is generated, or that they include these references and the links in the model? Uh, that is, it's definitely afterwards. The, the model doesn't have the reference links. Um, uh, the, the Bing AI one is definitely one where they go and search, find things, tag, tag the URL uh, of where they search, and then surface that up. Um, oh, wait, I missed your first question. Sorry. If LMs and transform architectures are just about next word prediction, I am not sure how they would have predicted the right phone number or do the most math correctly. I wonder if they combine LMs with some basic logic or knowledge elsewhere. Um, so, so, so how we would provide the phone number is basically that um, it, it doesn't treat this as a, as a number. It treats this kind of like a, like a word, right? As tokens. Um, so it basically says that like, Hey, you know, on all of these Disney documents that I've read, you know, this number has come up, you know, in reference to uh, Disney resorts because people have written articles about, you know, here's a number you call for Disney to make an appointment or blah, blah, blah. Right. So like of all of those articles, it reads that and it like memorizes that. So like, that's how it would, um, that's how it would quote unquote, know the number for Disney resorts. Um, so, but anyways, all right. We, we, we kind of like went down a rabbit hole <laughs> with the, with the whole, does it, does the LLM know the Disney number or not? Um, so apparently it, it, it does, uh, but it's not the same as this one. Uh, and it's so, so, so we don't fully know if it like actually hallucinated this or not, but I think either way, oh, they are both on the same page. Uh, actually both numbers are the same on the same page. Oh, are they? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Five, two, seven, seven. And the other okay. one. The oh, research. Yeah. We started with yeah. We we started with four three oh, zero zero, and okay. then the other one is also on the same page. The seven seven number. Oh yeah, it's this one. Okay. Yeah yeah. 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 So it it has it has. 
Yeah, it's hard to tell. But but what, the other thing is, this is uh, Minstrel that we're working with. And I don't think Minstrel is has internet access to look up these things. Right? So that's, that's mm -hmm. I think, the other surprising thing. Um, so that it does store your... So you were saying that we, it probably does have the URL, right? In its... Uh like a, as a token or something. oh like in its training data it might or it might yeah. not uh i mm -hmm. would I, i'm gonna say it does not um mm -hmm. because the fact that like 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 i said like think about blog posts right people love writing about disney right so there's so many blog posts on the internet right now on disney Right. And so, mm -hmm. like, if you think about with every single blog post, somebody probably put Disney phone numbers like in their blog posts. Right. <laughs> so if you just like imagine that you're like, OK, yeah, like probably at the very bottom, like they put it everywhere. Right. It's like if you have any questions, call Disney. Right. Like that's that's like the end of every blog. <laughs> um, <laughs> so like so, so 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 most likely that's how the model like associates this number with Disney because it's just read that that many material like that's that's related to it mm -hmm. notice how like it didn't actually get it correct where this one is the photo pass guest support number and this one is the uh the fine dining number <laughs> right so 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 so, so, it, it, so like it that's why like that's what i'm saying is that like it's it's like hallucinating in like a, a different way <laughs> um mm -hmm. but anyways all right um went down a rabbit hole with this. Um, there was something else that Bronzite mentioned in the chat that I kind of want to talk about. Uh, and that was, uh, so I'm going to go back up a little bit. Uh, and, oh, that was the question about scalability, right? Like, you know, if we only do one, um, one, uh, whatchamacallit, um, one person at a time, you know, how scalable is that? Um, so for us, like, today as we're doing this stream we are just sort of experimenting right if we ever were to think about like how to productionize this thing it actually would not be that bad to just put in one and then run this in a loop where every single time it's the same prompt uh and then just change the um the input and then just run that in the loop and then save the response every single time um so 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 from a Production standpoint, you know, I, I could imagine doing something like that. Um, the other way that we can think of, and I think the other thing about the production standpoint is that like, you probably would not do this for your entire data set, right? Um, you, you might need to have like some other type of way to classify whether or not um, something is suspicious. So for example, you might first do like a keyword, uh, a keyword lookup, right? and bring all of those things together, right? Like, so bring everybody with the last name Simpson into this group, right? And then run this classification on everybody with last name Simpson, right? So then that way for the, you know, if it's like an, a real Simpson or like, you know, somebody not a Homer Simpson, then like it might classify it as a, as a person. But then like for Homer Simpson, it might, you know, classify that as, uh, as a fictional character. Um, so, so in terms of scalability, like, I think, you know, like I said, it's, it's twofold. One, we could just do the same thing, loop it, but then also like have some type of pre-processing uh, so that we don't need to do it for everything. Um, you know, find some type of um, basically a, the, a smaller set that we would, or like a, 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 you can think about it as like, uh, find the edge cases or find the ones where like there's uncertainty as to whether or not it's a person or, or a business and then uh, run that through the LLM um, to, to help classify it. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So let's jump. Did we, did we explore everything else? Just want to make sure I answered all the questions and explored everything else. Okay. Okay. So, um let's uh so we have here this was the fake phone number real person and, and so it wasn't able to identify this as a fake phone number which i i was actually um disappointed in 
Because I don't think mm-hmm. there are phone numbers that have 555. Like, I don't think there, mm-hmm. there are real phone numbers, right? Um, I guess I'll Google it. <laughs> are... oh, oh, yeah. Wait, sorry. Does it say that it thinks this one's a, a phone? Uh, what does it say about phone? I don't remember. What did it say about phone? Uh, yeah, sorry. Let's yeah. get back to it. Uh, it just okay. says that it's a valid format. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. It doesn't contain any special characters. Right. Oh, well, yeah. It's just a format. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so it just says that it's a format. So. That will indicate it's associated with a business. <laughs> Why? Why is a valid format associated with a business? Well, let's, let's see about this. This is interesting. A fictional use. Yeah, okay. it's it's interesting that like they 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 allocated this specifically for fictional use. <laughs> oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. So if that is, so so because like so Wikipedia is definitely in the training set. Right, for, for most mm-hmm. of these models. So, like, I'm surprised it didn't pick up that, like, numbers with 555 are, are fictional. Let's let's try it again with just, with just, uh, yeah, all numbers. Yeah, no, with like, without Mickey Mouse in it. Um, Oh man, Poe is like really slow. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah, now I found the five five five. Okay. Maybe so, Mickey so, so. Mouse was too strong, huh? Maybe Mickey Mouse was too strong. <laughs> maybe. Off, right? Yeah, maybe, right? It, it, it's, it's, uh, I think, well, so that's also the other reason why if we were ever to productionize this, we would never have two, two inputs in one, in one, uh, in one block, right? Because mm-hmm. you don't know, you don't know what that other one's going to do. Cause it does, it does impact. Uh-huh. Like, like having multiple data points in there, like does impact the LLM. Um, mm-hmm. I like how it's saying film is often used for fictional numbers. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> and, and, which is which is I think is is true, right? Uh, is it? Uh, so actually, wait. Only, only. F- so 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 it actually can you start with five 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 if if uh if this number is not there? Yeah, yeah. There's no real. Five 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 numbers. Used by general and teacher. Hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, there's the Jenny song. We can try that. Jenny song? Oh, uh, oh, 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 Jenny song, eight six seven. Okay. Yeah, right. Cause there's, I, uh, <laughs> we can try, <laughs> we can try this. Let's see, let's see if that if that string has been like, has been used so much in our, in our pop culture that it it was able to identify. Mm. No, it didn't. Maybe long is okay. Not strong enough. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering. Okay, I, I, I let's let's actually retry this, and I'm gonna take away this the uh, the area code. Because mm-hmm. in, in the song, it's just this. There's no area code. It has a Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> you think we should change the name to Jennifer to see what happens? <laughs> I don't know to help it. Hmm. 
Oh, now it thinks it's a fictional character? Uh, seems to be a residential address, which suggests it could be an individual. However, Mayberry is a fictional town from the Andy Griffin show, which suggests that it could be a fictional character. The phone number provided doesn't have any obvious associations with a specific entity. I searched a line and followed through. <laughs> Uh, okay so so this it, it completely no 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 no, no. Mm -hmm. the, the, this this yeah it completely made a jump with that fan fiction right so this it just completely yeah. hallucinated this but yeah. like but what's so fascinating about this is that right like it's it like it's like the the hallucination of it is like it's like it's like a very reasonable hallucination of it. Very convincing, you know, like fan fiction, you know. Yeah, pl plausible, right? Plausible. Yeah. It didn't get the phone number yeah. though. Right. No, it didn't. It didn't get the phone yeah. number. So it's like yeah, it's almost like it has to be kind of specific, right? Like it's five five like like you know, like showing, right? Removing that uh Mickey Mouse or something to make it stand out or something. Well, well, so, 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 so here's the thing that that's interesting, right? So this is a character, right? And, and I forget what the show was, right? So this is the name of a character. I'm going to scroll up. West was, Wing. In West uh, Wing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so this was the name of the char a character in West Wing. So that's fictional. This is an address in some fictional thing that we looked up. I forget where, right? And this is a phone number from a song. Right. Um, so it's three fictional things from three different places that all like, you know, have a chance of, of, <laughs> of resembling, you know, something. So like, I don't I don't hate the fact that like, you know, it output a fictional character, but the reasoning is just complete, like, you know, complete hallucinations, just, you know, making pretty crazy jumps. Right. Mm. Um Oh wait, sorry. Why? Because I thought it was reasonable. I right? like a like, you know, based on the name. It, it's not sure about the name, but the address is fake. Oh well, not fake, fictional. I think, uh, address is fictional. Oh no, then, oh, no, no. Uh, actually, actually, it did. It doesn't know that this is uh, the address is fictional. It was just saying that uh, Mayberry is a fictional town. A fictional town. Yeah. So, so it only got the the fictional town part. Um, mm -hmm. but I'm saying, I'm saying that it, it didn't get the phone number, right? No, it didn't. No, yeah. Uh, and then this was a complete hallucination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems like it tries to tie back, right? Like as opposed to, oh, a six, seven, like it seems to maybe because the last thing it said is like Mayberry, right? And then it considers the phone number and see, Hey, are there any relationships to Mayberry? It's like, oh, nothing. So it's not really... So it can't belong to that. It seems to just keep go keep going as right. opposed to Well yeah. so, so what happened, I think what happened is that like it it, it found it, you know, it talked about the Annie Griffin show, right? From from Mayberry. And then because it talked about the Annie Griffin show, it just it, it made this reference it made this jump from 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 Bartlett to Annie Griffin. And it just completely made this sentence up. Uh -huh. So I think that's where it made that jump. Uh, all mm -hmm. right. I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah. So I yeah. think that's, that's the, that that's, that's where like, and then because of this, like everything else after that, now, now it's just, it's down a rabbit hole. Now it's just like, it's like, this is, this is all I know now. <laughs> right. And so the LLM <laughs> is just completely not now. It's now it doesn't know anything. <laughs> and it's just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, but uh, uh, yeah, it's it's very convincing. I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're convinced. Like, yeah, you're like being led to. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean that that is one of the dangers of LOMs is that like it it, it uh -huh. like it's it's reasoning and like the the way the way it talks like it's it's very convincing, right? It's very much mm -hmm. like, um, you know, like a professional journalism like level of like English. Right. 
So mm -hmm. like, it, yeah. it, <laughs> uh, which, which is part of its training data, by the way. So that, like, that's kind of why. Yeah. Um, yeah, it sounds like that. So, uh, but yeah, so the like, residential atlas in a fictional town. It's like so specific. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I know, right? Um, but, but yeah, you know, so, so like if we were to do this, right? If we were to do something like this and we wanted to, uh, oh, actually, you know what? we haven't, we haven't tried threatening it yet. I know, I know you really like threatening it. So we should, we should do that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, a, yeah. Uh, like, uh this uh your job okay so your job is very important if you do not perform well you will be terminated <laughs> <laughs> all right let's you know, when, 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 when somebody goes back to the uh, to the GitHub and they're going to, like, read all these prompts, they're going to be like, why do you constantly threaten <laughs> with termination? And then, fired. They have to. <laughs> because I, I don't save the intermediate, the intermediate uh, st uh, prompts that we started with, right? So, like, if you weren't here for the beginning, you didn't know what we started with. You only know what we ended with. But anyways, mm -hmm. okay. Um at first glance. Uh, did some research as a fictional character. No, wait, is it, why does it keep so why does it keep going back to this, even though it didn't it didn't mention it before? Mm-hmm. Oh no. Huh. The character All right. I know. I know that Bronze in the stream like said that this person does not exist in in the Andy Griffin show, but I just have to Google it now. Uh huh. Okay. There. There's not. <laughs> so yeah, isn't it like a West Wing? He, he said it's a he's West from, Wing connection. Yeah, uh, he's, he's from the West Wing. Okay. Bartlett. Um. Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. I saw. I. Uh, okay, so there's like a fandom for that. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> oh. But still, it, it's still nothing to do with. Uh... Oh wait, did I forget to? No, I did clear the context. Okay. Yeah, so I don't. I don't yeah, know why. I don't know why it keeps keeps thinking that it's from the Andy Griffin show. <laughs> it's very like there, yeah there's something <laughs> right like there's something about it like like it keeps thinking that like this like this name is from the andy griffin show it's very strange yeah. so yeah what is this shit hmm yeah well yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure either. It's definitely very, very strange. Anyways, okay. Um, so we got a few minutes left. Uh, let's talk through. Um, let's just summarize a few things, and then we can uh, talk through about what we want to do next stream. Uh, so next stream is gonna be mm -hmm. Wednesday, right? I think we're we should be still good on next Wednesday, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Next Wednesday is still good. Um, so I think. One of the things that's that's uh, really interesting that came up in the stream was like, you know, like more about like how to productionize something like this, right? Like where we would just give it one thing, uh, one prompt. Um, mm -hmm. If if the, I mean, the, the mixed room model might be small enough where we could run it on Google Colab, where we could try it. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. It might be worthwhile for us to, to give that a try, but it, it might run really, really slowly um, mm. if, we, if we're trying mm. to like uh, do that in a loop. But yeah, but I, but I mean, what, what do you think from like a, an engineering standpoint, right? Like, do you think that like 
you know, that we would just run yeah. just basically this one block in a loop? Yeah, uh, I guess that's the first natural thing to try because, you know, you, you know, kind of like you said, don't want the context to bleed into, you know, the next one, right? So, uh, yeah, but then in terms, yeah, I, I mean, I see two things like, uh, it would be nice to be able to run something like locally or like on a collab or, you know, set it up in like an AWS environment, you know, uh, uh, to, to, you know, uh, yeah, so, so that would be closer to production. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we yeah, don't have but... to do any sort of production grade stuff on the stream just because like that's mm -hmm. kind of difficult. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But... Yeah, it, it's 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 something maybe we can think about if, if we want to try something. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if people are actually really care about it, mm -hmm. but we can. Mm -hmm. I guess we can always ask uh, what people yeah. want to see if they actually want to care about yeah. the production production ready stuff. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, yeah, then, yeah. So far, we've explored I think different areas, and that's good. You know, kind of the possibility, right? Basically, we're just kind of right seeing what's possible. Yeah, um, maybe we could keep doing that. Or well, or, so we know. only did classification. Uh, we didn't actually try the uh, data cleaning or mock data generation using the new uh, minstrel media model. Oh, so, minstrel. Yeah, yeah, we have it. That's so, right. We have so it. we can we can try uh, we can try doing we can try doing data cleaning and mock data generation next time mm -hmm. uh, using uh, uh, using the new the the, the minstrel media model. And seeing how well it does. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't realize the one is a mixtral is the AX, but it's mistral for um the this one. <laughs> mistral me. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, they, mix, you know, that one's like a mix, and then this one's a mistral. Sorry, uh I should I should have actually I should have mentioned that first. <laughs> so yeah. Mistral AI is the name of the company. <laughs> mm. And then mm -hmm. because they wanted to be clever when they took the mixture of experts model, right? They, yeah. they decided to name it mixtural. Um, I like that. So, yeah. So that I... was why <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't explain that, uh, but it is kind of cute how, how, how they did that. Um, yeah. They should, they could, they could just have kept it, but I guess, you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. But anyways, I mean, yeah. So this company it, it, cool. it is pretty cool. There are so yeah. Kind of, I want to try it out. Kind of looking forward laptop. to what else they they've got. Um, mm -hmm. So all right, sounds good. Um, happy Friday, happy weekend. Yeah, thanks happy folks Friday. for coming to the stream. Bye. Thank you. Bye.